Hello everybody, welcome to the Cyber Planet. My name is Karim Chata and I'm your host for today. In today's episode, we'll be talking about legal, social and ethical issues in cybersecurity. A lot of people have the interest of learning and getting started into cybersecurity without understanding the legal, social and ethical issues of this industry. One wrong mistake and you may find yourself in big trouble. There is a need of learning and understanding these issues because there is a thin line between ethical and unethical when it comes to cybersecurity. This industry is a very delicate industry which can either make or break you. And the only way to be safe while operating in this industry is before getting yourself involved in any cybersecurity project, make sure by all means you have a letter of authorization in your hands which is signed by the heads of the organization like the head of IT or the managing director stamped with the organizational stamp. And finally, make sure the document clearly indicates who is doing the engagement, the scope of the engagement, and who are you going to report to the findings. After this, an NDA or non-disclosure agreement may be requested for you to sign by the client. Now, for the guys interested in cybersecurity, to be specific ethical hacking, penetration testing, or red teaming, we may also include cybersecurity consultants. They need to understand that these specific careers need you to understand the legal systems and how they work. Each country has their own laws, but on this podcast, we will discuss the international laws for you to be aware. But also keep in mind, we will discuss them in brief, and it will be up to you to do further research on the laws for an in depth understanding. There are several laws governing cybersecurity, and they are as follows. Looking at the first law, it is the Computer Misuse Act. This law becomes effective when an individual gains unauthorized access to a system, modifies data without the consent of the owner, and deletes the data, introducing of malicious softwares like viruses, malwares, spywares, etc., industrial espionage, which is theft of information, causing damages to computers, it also covers fraud and blackmail, identity and financial abuses, email and chatroom abuses. All this can be found under the Computer Misuse Act. The second law is the Human Rights Act. This right covers the right of an individual to their private life, which includes friends and family. And everybody, including the public authority like the police, should respect and abide to this law. Only in certain circumstances are the public authority allowed to interfere on the privacy of an individual. And these circumstances include national security issues, prevention of crime or disorder, protection of economic well-being of the country, protection of rights and freedom of others. The third law is the Communication Act. In this act, no one has the right to intercept any form of communication without having the right to do so. This covers sending offensive and threatening messages, sending hoax calls and emails. For ethical hackers, they must be very careful when targeting employees of an organization. The fourth law is the Data Protection Act, or if you like, the General Data Protection Regulations, GDPR. This governs the protection of personal data of people. It makes sure that the information of an individual is correct and up to date, not being misused, not stored for a longer period of time, and it ensures the security of personal data. This act protects our personal identifiable information which includes passports, national ID number, health information, financial information, etc. Now after discussing about some of the laws, Let's look at the code of ethics that a cybersecurity expert needs to have. These code of ethics are created by EC Council in order to govern as cybersecurity experts in the industry. They include, the first one is preserve confidentiality. This is where you will sign an NDA. The second one is protect intellectual property. The third one is do not disrupt organizational business process, which covers not doing denial of service. The fourth one is only disclose the findings to the appropriate individual. The fifth one is understand the scope of the engagement. The sixth one is if a need arises to go beyond the scope, inform the owner. The seventh one is make sure you clean up after an engagement, which includes removing malicious programs in the system like backdoors. The eighth one is do not engage in black hat activities. It is to my hope that the things that we discussed in this episode will help you understand what you are allowed and not allowed to do when engaging in a cybersecurity project. My final thoughts on this topic is always try your level best to be ethical because if you end up having a criminal record then your reputation is damaged and you may never be able to recover from that. But also make sure that before engaging in any cybersecurity project you receive a letter of authorization from the client.
Thank you very much for listening to today's episode and this episode marks the end of season 1. Cheers.